Since iOS 7 Beta 1 came out, I saw these videos online that the GPP or the Arsene 7 still works um, from the previous unlock of what it was actually made for, which was iOS 6, specifically 6.1.3. I've seen videos that iOS 7 works with the GPP. Uh, the RSM 7 has a lot of my major bugs. You can't get service, it says searching forever, and you don't connect. GPP is the way to go, in my perspective. Everyone has their own opinion on what SIM card is better to be activated with for the iPhone. But again, GPP, in my opinion, because I have used it, it doesn't really work for me. So, in this video, I show you an iPhone that has iOS 7 Beta 5 working with a GPP made for iOS 6. Let's get started. The iPhone being used for this video will be an iPhone 4S locked to AT&T's network on iOS 7 Beta 5. And to prove to you guys that it is locked to AT&T's network, let me just first prove to you that it has that it is iOS 7, then I'll prove to you that it's locked to uh, AT&T's network. 32 gigabyte. And you can already tell it's iOS 7 because it doesn't have the uh, slash through the Apple like it does when it usually starts up. And there we go. And no, it's not jailbroken at all. Alright. Boom. There, no spotlight search. Straight up. You go into general. About. iOS 7. 27 gigabytes. Uh, carrier. AT&T. 14.5.6. And I'll put in a T-Mobile SIM card and show you guys that it is locked to at and network. And there we go, I have the T-Mobile cut SIM card, the uh, micro SIM that I cut myself. Use a pair of scissors, what do you gonna do? And it does work, and to prove it, it's going inside, no editing tricks. The T-Mobile SIM card, I'll show you guys it. The T-Mobile SIM card going inside of the iPhone 4S that it is locked to at and network. It'll show I have a voicemail, but then, you'll see, I'll even bring up settings. There you go, for new voicemail, we'll close that. And over there we say it says searching, let me get out of this. Then it'll start to lock out, and then respring and lock it out. It's a little weird that the badge is still there on the phone icon, but still it'll soon lock out and you'll see. Gonna speed it up. There we go. It says activation record. Let me go with the brightness for you guys. Cannot even get that part up. So when I unlock it, choose a Wi Fi network. Next. It may take minutes. Activation. This device is not registered. And there you go. And now I'll show you guys how to unlock it with the GPP, but first let me show you what comes with the GPP when you get it. Now for me, I ordered it on Amazon and it came in first class mail in three to five business days about. It came with the usual three, uh, the GPP uh, packaging. They're all, some of them are different than others. The mine just says for iOS 6. On the back it says works with CDMA, uh, no, it says work with GSM, WCDMA, and CDMA. And this came with the paper on the top that says your money is guaranteed back and then it just has um, a list on how to do it so yes now I'm just gonna open this and show you what comes what the contact inside the pack now for the contents with the GPP this is actually a little bit different I bought this from an individual user actually and I was reading the paper that the, in the, that the private seller left me and it's a little different than the three G, the GPP I've noticed but this is the context of the package it comes with the uh, programming sim card actually which is a gigantic piece of cardboard but it's pre-cut out all you gotta do is push the sim card out uh, a sim tray for the 4s and these this uh, sim I don't know what that's called but you put that over your sim card so it could uh, 
be red. So now that we have all this, let us start by unlocking the iPhone. So the first thing we're going to do is go to a Dropbox website where there is a uh, Flatter download and I'll have links into the description down below on where to download this. And this is going to be the active, um, where we manually put the patch on the iPhone. While well, that's downloading, you're going to want to put, plug your iPhone into the computer and make sure that there are no SIM cards in the iPhone. Once the program is finished installing, you're going to want to open it and make sure iTunes isn't open. Now you need to make sure that the iPhone screen is on, um, is open and stays on the home screen for the icons. And then we're going to click the install button once it's uh, lit up for install. And there we go. It now. Please select your carrier. And then you select the carrier you have. When the carrier selection prompt comes up, you're going to click the CMCC. And then it's going to give you an activate, uh, an input in activation code. And this activation code that you get with the GBP will only work once. So I'm not going to show you the code, but I'm going to input it now. And you only get one shot. If this doesn't work, there are other ways to activate using the GPP, but I'm following the instructions that came with my GPP. Uh, then once it verifies that your activation code is correct, it'll say installing, and then it'll let you know that it is a success. Now it says please reboot your device after you're finished out installing your iPhone. And apparently iOS 7 beta 6 is now available during this video. That's fantastic. But we're not doing that. Now when it installs on your iPhone, you're going to have a network profile that says to install a China mobile APN setting. And it's not verified. verified. You're just going to install install now and then once it's done you're just gonna restart the iPhone just gonna reboot it once your iPhone is off disconnect it from the computer and then turn it on and while that's going on I'm gonna tell you relay the next step to you guys once it turns on you're gonna take the white cardboarded um, reset sim on top of the GG, the GPP SIM, the gold plate one, and insert into the phone, and then you select the iPhone's original network. So, let's do that. So when the phone turns back on now, this is what you're gonna do again. Now I'm gonna show you. You're gonna eject the SIM tray, and you're gonna use the SIM tray that came with the GPP. You're gonna put the gold plated one down first, and put the white reset chip on top of it then you're going to put it in your phone and this step is very crucial and it actually fits in really snug and you're going to put it in and then you're just going to wait for a pop-up to come up so it says no sun we just take it a minute and there we go then you're going to select the carrier of this iPhone and this is US AT&T and there you go new carrier has been selected Power off the iPhone, replace the leading SIM by your target SIM, then enjoy your iPhone. Then I click accept. And what we do is turn it off. And then we eject the SIM tray. We take out the white reset one and we put the SIM in that we want to use. For this video, I use the T-Mobile one. So I'm going to take the T-Mobile SIM card I have here, and I'm going to place it over the gold-plated GPP, and be very del delicate, because this is a very delicate uh, SIM, the gold-plated one. And we pop this back into the iPhone, and then we turn the iPhone back on. And then you'll see it won't lock out. It might take a little while to connect for first time users, but this iPhone is going to actually be used for simple mobile, but right now I don't have that SIM card present, but I will in the near future. So just do that. There we go, now it says searching. 
and it should go to no service and it will not go to uh, there we go voicemail and it go went away and now it's going to show no service in a second so now let's go into settings not the new beta 6 we'll go into phone the number is unknown but we're just going to give it a minute to connect I'm just making sure that the screen doesn't come up where it says activation required. And there we go. One new voicemail. And this sim has no service. And there you go. It didn't go to the activation required screen. The iPhone is unlocked. And I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and have a great day.